welcome to Computerism Mode. And finally, and I mean finally, I have with me a graphic card for review where it is none other than the Asus Streaks R9 390X 8GB DDR5 graphic card. Well, this is a huge graphic card, it's armored, it's robust, it's wild, it's powered by 8GB of high speed DDR5 memory and it has a Terminator like OWL logo in front of it. If that counts as a feature. Anyways, moving on to the card itself, we see that it has, the OWL has three eyes this time or you can say three fans in front which ASUS is, says is a direct CU3 technology which actually is 30 times more efficient and 3 times more cooler than the previous generation coolers on any other brand. Let's put it straight. Uh, if you observe the card, it comes in a traditional red and black finish. It comes with an HDMI port, a DVI port and 3 display ports for the I.O. panel. You will see huge two 10mm heat pipes at the bottom and one protruding out on top because this is the uh, whole cooling mechanism that ASUS has opted this time to keep this beast cool. And if you look at the back, it comes with a, it's a solid back plate at the back. It comes with a back plate, it uh, enhances the cooling efficiency and has the ASUS owl, you know, staring at you and with the ASUS streaks written at the bottom which is quite cool. Is this is the portion that you're going to see in your cabinet, so it has to be nice and ASUS has done a very nice job in the finishing and all. Then coming to the front you see the fans. So in all you have this card actually in three layers. The back with a back plate, then the PCB itself, then you have the whole uh, mesh and the cooling mechanism and in the front obviously the three thin triple blade fans to cool the whole system. And on top, yes, I forgot to mention, on top you have the LED pulsating streaks logo, which actually is very good if you are not into customizing your PC and but still you want a custom experience. And over the top you can see it, uh, it feeds on 6 PCIe plus 8 PCIe slots. So you can say that this power hungry beast needs somewhere around 300 watts to, you know, feed upon, which is quite... Uh, uh, common these days, so there is no complaint about that. Okay, so uh, what is the benefit of such a huge cooler? Well, let me put you, uh, this straight. I mean, the benefit of such a cooler is the cooler a card will run, the more headroom you have for overclocking. This uh, card comes out of the box at 1170 megahertz. I was able to overclock this card at around 1150 megahertz. And uh, oh, sorry, uh, I need to correct this. It comes with 1070 megahertz out of the box, and I managed to overclock it around 1150 megahertz with, uh, you know, a memory frequency of 1625 megahertz, which is quite respectable considering the size and the memory this card works upon. Also, ASUS has packed the GPU tweak. Two software this time, which actually has three modes: the OC mode, the silent mode, and the gaming mode, which configures your card in different modes. And the OC mode is my favorite because you know you just click on the OC mode and it automatically OC itself to 1090 megahertz, which is a 20 megahertz bump on the default frequency. It is, I mean, it's a very good thing in my book because. If you are not an advanced overclocker, you want to save your time going all, you know, fiddling up with all the bias sitting and all, you know, AMD, utility and everything. So this is a good feature for you. You just get a speed bump and a performance enhancement. Also, uh, it comes with the option of defragmenting your memory, which is an awesome feature because Windows 7, Windows 8.1 and I am not sure about Windows 10, but Windows 7, Windows 8.1 lack this feature. So memory defragmentation optimizes your memory utilization and gives you more memory for your games and your programs to run upon. This is a quite a welcome move from ASUS and I like that. Okay, and uh, now you all must be wondering, dude, how does it perform? Well, okay, coming over to the benchmarks, uh, well, we uh, let me set up a test bench and then we'll come over to the benchmarks, so stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back. 
so here's my test setup. I have configured the ASUS Streak R9390X with the Gigabyte X99 Gaming 5P motherboard. We're using an Intel 5960X 8 core 16 thread processor which has been slightly overclocked to 4.5 GHz. And as you can see, the central fan is the only thing that's spinning right now. And why is that? Remember the 0dB feature? Well, that was that the, car, the fans of the card will not spin until and unless the temperature exceeds 65 degrees Celsius. Well, this is a really cool feature because you don't have to uh, listen to all those, uh, you know, coil whines and anything like that on huge cards. It's a quite a common problem. So as you can see, as the temperature is not too much, the central fan has just started spinning. It just came in because it wants to keep the GPU that is in the uh, right, is uh, you know, underneath it cool. So it's quite a welcome feature. So if you run games like uh, World of Warcraft, League of Legends, Counter Strike, the fans will not spin. So just don't uh, start being like, oh my god, my fans are not spinning. No, your graphic card is working. That's not the case. All right. So you can see the streaks logo is glowing on top. The fan is uh, only one fan out of the three are spinning. So that's quite a good thing. It's not at all noisy. So let's start some benchmarks. As you can see, uh, I have been uh, running 3D Mark and it's running quite smooth. And then we'll be following it with a couple of games. Oh yes, my favorite, Alien Isolation. An alien game that doesn't suck. Quite cool. And uh, Metro Last Light. How can you forget this game? This is quite cool. Shadow of Mordor. Another game that's quite punishing to graphic cards. And here are some other benchmarks. You, uh, you are most welcome to pause the video and just take a look at them and uh, observe them to your heart's content. We are comparing the results of the R9 390X at stock frequency with the 980 reference model that I have with me and even a Gigabyte R93, sorry, a Gigabyte R9290X Wind Force 3X OC edition. So, that covers up all the benchmarks and as you could see, it definitely beats the 970. It is exchanging blows with the NVIDIA GTX 980 reference model and it definitely beats the R9290X, its previous uh, generation GPU. It is uh, has been uh, said and it is a slight rebrand of the previous Hawaii uh, GPUs and now they are known as Grenada. Well, it definitely deserves this name because of such, you know, so many things that they have done. It performs well, it OCs better, the temperatures are high but don't worry about it because AMD itself says that it is meant to operate somewhere around 90 degrees Celsius plus. So it's not a big issue because the company itself is backing up uh, that thing up. It OCs well, it looks good, it performs better. It is uh, somewhere pr priced around 40,000 uh, rupees in India or 420 some dollars, which is not a big deal. So if you're looking for a GPU which performs uh, better than any other GPU uh, for somewhere around 420, 425 dollars, and you are a hardcore AMD fan, you want quality, then the ASUS Streaks R9390X is meant for you. Thanks for liking my video, thanks for watching my video. If you think my video sucks, you know what to do. If you, but if you think it's good, do hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe to my channel and don't miss on any other videos that I'll be posting. Till the next time, thank you, take care, bye bye.